Hey, BK here, uh, BK and Understanding, back for another vlog entry and uh, trying out a new microphone on the camera. Hopefully, it will get better audio quality. Um, the air conditioner is running, so hopefully, that's not too loud and too disruptive. And, uh, or maybe it'll at least run consistently throughout whatever I have to say today and uh, not mess us up that much. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed your weekend and uh, just wanted to uh, make another vlog entry and keep this going. I really enjoyed doing it. It's uh, something real simple I could do to keep the channel uh, going and uh, keep stuff going up. It's a lot cheaper to do this than make music videos every week. <laughs> I mean, uh, if that were plausible, that would be more enjoyable. It would be. I love making art, but I also enjoy uh, sharing my heart and speaking uh, and encouraging uh, uh, to you guys. So, anyway, um, I made a list tonight to make sure that I don't forget anything. Um, first off, as I've already kind of rambled on, uh, first off though, please subscribe to the channel. Um, if, you, uh, if you're viewing this and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It helps us out. We are not allowed to monetize until we hit at least a thousand subscribers. And so many hours, I, I still have forgotten to go back and look up how many hours of viewing time. But again, right now, I'm just going to preface the 1,000 subscribers. I think the other part will come easier after that. Um, especially since we already have thousands of views on the channel. Just only 36 subscribers at the time of this video. Which, uh, welcome to the subscription, uh, my, my uh, new follower. Uh, I won't say your name in case you don't want it said. But thank you for subscribing. It's a dear friend of mine. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps us out. And secondly, uh, if you have not gone to our band camp, the link will be below. Please do so. And if you can spare a few bucks, uh, buy our music and support uh, BK Understanding that way. We don't have a Patreon set up or anything at the time of this video. Don't, and we haven't been able to monetize the YouTube channel. And uh, you know, streaming does not pay well. And the pandemic has hit hard on live music. So every little bit helps. Um, if you could spare some money, go to our band camp and buy our music from us. Uh, then go stream it wherever you want. But if you really like, uh, want to support us, you like our music, or believe in what we're doing and where we're going, um, and want to help buy our music from us on Bandcamp. And then the next thing to announce once again, and the previous two vlogs talked about this, is that this Friday, October 15th, 2021, uh, the Naylor Irby Game Love uh, music video will come out, and it will be accompanied with a uh, single on our band camp there'll be five tracks on that single um, you can go to listen to it and again purchase it to support us even more exciting is I always love putting out music videos and the Naylor Irby Game Love music video was uh, shot with uh, a new friend of ours named uh, Drew Thomas he has a uh, D Thomas Productions in the Dallas Fort Worth area and he shot the video the only things he didn't shoot were the footage of Lake Granberry. I had happened to shoot that um, the month prior to shooting the start, a month prior to starting to shoot the music video, and so he ended up using that. But everything else in the music video, aside from Lake Granberry, he shot and uh, did a really good job. He edited it and put everything together based on my loose uh, storyboard. I simply wanted to feature uh, Miss Naylor and Mr. Mo Mr. Irby in the music video uh, in a tennis match because if they were willing to do it, and they were, <laughs> because I wanted to encapsulate their love story uh, in a tennis match and playfully and joyfully um, with playful tension and that's exactly what we ended up doing and I talked a little bit about their uh, true story, their love story in the previous vlog um, unfortunately I was using a, a iPhone 6 Plus to record the audio which I had in my lap and I guess during uh, recording I was fidgeting or rubbing it not even thinking about it I guess just something subconsciously to help me relax more as I'm trying to remember everything I'm saying and anyway it ended up kind of being disruptive to the vlog I apologize if you're able to get through it please watch that uh, I'm sure somewhere else online eventually I'll talk about the story behind the you know, the Irby game love but in summation a quick summation of it uh, they did meet through uh, Miss Naylor's tennis league set up there. So I wanted to encapsulate that. So um, we're really excited for it to come out. It's coming out Friday. Um, should be out uh, midnight. Uh, I set it to midnight Central Standard Time 
So I don't know what that'll be wherever you're viewing it. You'll have to check that part. Um, okay, and another thing I wanted to mention, uh, this weekend I made a new logo for Beacon Understanding. I'm pretty excited about it. I can't wait to show you guys. However, I am going to have to wait because I want to wait and use it until after we finish uh, making Burning Kindling, which is the third album where the material that came about from the do-it-yourself project I started at the end of 2017 with Jay Cortez that originally was going to be called Humble Beginnings and uh, this one it's going to have almost exclusively electric guitar stuff so we've kind of what was going to be that one album with Jay and it never ended up coming to fruition uh, I won't go into details about that out of respect for him but uh, what was originally going to be Humble Beginnings and what would have been a great album ended up becoming three albums um, that I spent many, many hours and meant months, years making. <laughs> I did. Uh, Jay helped us get started. Um, all the drum tracks were recorded at Elevated Studios, and I'm grateful for that. Uh, Makeshift, Elevated, the Elevated Mix that I put out as a single was the only track we ever completed with Jay, unfortunately, and it sounds great. And just imagine what a whole album that would have sounded like. But uh, that being said, it did turn into uh, three albums with material. So I started with acoustic versions of songs that just naturally came about as I tried trying to figure out how to do an album myself. And that's Beginning Kernels. Um, it is the lowest quality um, of the album so far. And then a few months, just July, yeah, end of July, we released Basil Keystones, which is the central piece of the Do It Yourself project. Um, and put it out and it's our best work so far uh, I would say I mean but these news these singles that have come out since the release July 24th uh, 2021 of Basil Keystones since then uh, the singles that have come after I've gone back and adjusted things that I wish we would have noticed in the mixes of Basil Keystones before so I mean technically things do keep getting better I would say I mean they're progressing but Basil Keystones is the main album we have at the time. Um, it is right in the middle ground. It, it has rock songs on it and hints at what we're wanting to do, where we're wanting to go um, musically. But it also has the songs that got us started. And really, it's hard for me to say exactly what year we did begin because I was playing solo shows a decade ago at coffee shops uh, in my hometown. and in the surrounding areas and uh, the, my hometown is equal distance from Waco and Fort and so just kind of that area and yeah, it was a good time, played a lot of cover songs at those coffee shops and, but I also wrote some original music um, on top of worship music I'd already written so I got my musical start at performing uh, in, in a church so I have written over a dozen worship songs and I've released some of those under the Beacon Kid, and you're more if you're a person of faith, if you love worship music, uh, or if you just want to support me more <laughs> and Beacon Understanding, I've published those things under the Beacon Kid, and there's another album that should be, uh, hopefully, I'll have done before the, the new year in January, and have ready to release like so the second album of Beacon Kid. So anyway, all that rambling on, we have another album. Oh, I was explaining Basil Keystones. So Basil Keystones, it right in the middle of it are what I call coffee shop songs, songs that I wrote that I could play to a coffee shop audience. Uh, then there's some fun ones like A Dime a Dozen, which is a bonus track on Basil Keystones, but was a regular track on Beginning Kernels. Uh, and then Nayla Irby Game Love is a love story, so uh, just stuff like that in there. So this next album though is called Burning Kindling, and it will be almost exclusively electric guitar music. And It'll probably have some acoustics in there. I don't plan on it right now having any songs that are exclusively acoustic, though, because we want to make rock music and we want to we want to move forward and do more of that. Um, so we need to finish that out. Half the songs are done. There will be a few more repeats, just different versions of those songs. Uh, Liberated Soul, for instance, will come out on that album again because there's another version of it no one's heard yet that's actually my favorite version so far. Um, even better, in my opinion, than the Basil Keystones version. So that'll reappear. 
um, for sure. And then I've got a couple of new ones. One of them that I have played a couple times live uh, in my hometown uh, called The Cougar Blues. I can't wait for you guys to hear that one. That's another funny song that's also inspired by true stories that happened to me. Obviously uh, exaggerated for the humor. Anyway, we got that coming up. And uh, so that's next on the list is to finish up Burning Kindling. And also, a little update, I've also been working on writing material for another album and preparing because I want to I want to keep progressing, I want to get stuff done. And uh, hopefully that uh, I'll be able to work with a, a new friend of mine uh, who I'll mention in another video. Anyway, um, so that won't be a do-it-yourself album. I don't want that one to be. Uh, Burning Kindling, I hope, is the last of the do-it-yourself albums. And I hope in the future to do collaborative work or have professionals help record and get these albums out. Much more efficient, much better quality. But again, uh, thank you for your support. Um, and other than that, I did have a question on uh, the comments, and I don't, uh, for the music video, I don't want to die. I can't tell if it was uh, a bot or spam or if it was a legitimate account asking the question. I did intend to go into that tonight, but I, it looks like just talking about those first few things took up quite a bit of time already. Um, but to you, uh, the person who commented, I'm not going to say your name in case you are a bot, and then it's like feeding a troll. Um, but I'll, I will do that. I'll make a video explaining how I shot I Don't Want to Die, because I made that music video myself. I felt like I need to sneeze. So I was yeah. like, hold on. Um, but I did shoot I Don't Want to Die uh, myself with a Canon Rebel 6, a T6. Not a T6i, just a T6. And uh, so I'll, I'll show that camera in another video and explain that. It was, a, I mean, it's like the, pen, uh, no, what is it? the epitome of a low budget music video. Um, but I also edited it with Final Cut Pro, and that might be what this person was really wanting to know because I think you see a lot of what looks like, uh, what is it, stop animation almost. And that's actually uh, me messing with the time in, in Final Cut Pro. Because we'd shot so much footage that we wanted to fit into the song. And so I had the option of, I had the choice of either cutting all that stuff, which I, we thought was important, or speeding up the... Uh, the motion, the time of those shots to fit into the time of the song. And we decided I decided to go with that because it also played into the theme of the music video, which was um, the feeling of anxiety. So with the music video, the meaning of the song is focused on anxiety and how that feeling of death comes with anxiety. Like that concept that uh, Walt Whitman, I know for a fact, talked on that he argued that uh, life does not end with death and that death is not waiting at the end to arrest you. And I always love that because the word arrest, and we usually associate that with like going to jail or prison. And it's that feeling like it's all over. So I really like that. And so anxiety does that same thing to you. And, and if you're going to jail, that feeling, it is anxiety, obviously. Um, so with the music video, that's what we focused on. Um, I Don't Want to Die was not specifically written for anxiety. I later realized that it works for anxiety uh, as the as a, a theme of it. And so we went with that. And it was fun to see it in different meanings. It's really just a playful song. And it's uh, you could also interpret it as a love song. So anyway, I'll, go, I'll make another video where I specifically kind of go through that. So other than that, I just wanted to go ahead and make another vlog. Um, I'm hoping by the time I put this up or have it on YouTube ready to be put, uh, published, I'm hoping that I will be able to go and I'm wanting to find somewhere outside and uh, try out this mic uh, at a park somewhere, just me and acoustic guitar playing a song, probably do a cover song, maybe an original, I don't know yet. We'll see how I feel. And uh, I'm going to mix that into the vlog, make it more interesting, do some live performances specifically for the vlog. Um, you know, if I start getting more shows, I'll put clips in from shows in the vlog and talk about those shows and stuff like that. 
Um, anyway, um, thanks for watching so far. So again, this is just another vlog entry, kind of updating you guys, reminding you some things, and uh, giving you more opportunity to get to know me, I guess. And before I wrap it up, just want to remind you guys that uh, the Naylor Irby Game Love music video is coming out Friday. Please watch it. Um, please watch it. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. P possibly our best music video yet. Uh, it's a good one. I have the terrible turned out great. I'm proud of I Don't Want to Die. Um, and even the first one we made, You're the One I Adore, turned out pretty good. We also shot that with the Rebel T T6 camera. Uh, so those, the first, yeah, that one and I Don't Want to Die, we shot the same camera. Um, anyway, please watch another Irby Game Love. Um, please subscribe to this channel. If you haven't done that yet, please do it right now before you forget. Please, 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 please. <laughs> and uh, if you have followed along this long, go ahead and like the video because obviously you enjoyed what you saw and heard. And uh, please go to our band camp and support us by purchasing our music at this time. Hopefully we'll be able to build up our merch and stuff uh, as we accumulate more support and offer you more stuff, like physical stuff. Anyway, all that being said, uh, please go to our band camp and uh, purchase our music and support us that way. And appreciate you watching. Hopefully the I'll be able to get the next vlog rolling soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks.